Marshall Jones of College Station, Texas, recently had a brush with death, and it began with an ingrown hair. And then after two or three days, it still wasn't any better, so I went to the doctor because it was starting to get hardened under there. Um, the doctor lanced it, thought it was a spider bite. As it turned out, the true culprit was not a spider, but a dangerous germ known as methicillin-resistant staph aureus, or MRSA. It started off just on the back of my neck, and then it worked its way into the bloodstream, and eventually it attached itself to one of my heart valves. MRSA causes staph infections that don't respond to many conventional antibiotics. Hospital patients are the most vulnerable, but doctors have identified a strain that strikes healthy people, and it's on the rise. It's spreading very rapidly across this country, and so there are hardly any geographic regions in this country that aren't experiencing some problem with community-associated MRSA. While this type of staph infection can strike anyone, the CDC has recorded outbreaks in children, military recruits, prison inmates, and athletic teams. There's lots of skin-to-skin -skin contact, there's lots of opportunities for breakage in the skin, there's lots of opportunities for shared contaminated items such as towels and razors and this sort of thing. When they get a break in the skin, the staph aureus can get into the subcutaneous tissues under the skin and start an infection. Most community-acquired staph aureus infections are of the skin. But sometimes, a skin infection can progress to something far more serious. In Marshall's case, the bacteria attacked one of his heart valves, shut down his kidneys, and nearly took his life. If the organism gets into the bloodstream, then it's much more serious than if it's simply in the skin or subcutaneous tissues. It was very, very scary to see him laying there in ICU on the ventilator. Every time I went in there, I was whispering in his ear, fight those bugs, come on, you're the strongest person I know. You, you'll be fine, you fight them. Marshall's doctors had a limited arsenal to help him with the fight. He was allergic to vancomycin, one of the few antibiotics that works against MRSA. After 33 days in the hospital and various antibiotic cocktails, Marshall beat the infection, but not without a price. The infection caused a lot of damage to my spine, and so I still have lower back pain than I get if I do strenuous activity. I have neuropathy, which is nerve damage uh, down my legs and on my toes, so I, I tend to drag my feet when I walk, little things like that. There are steps you can take to protect yourself. The first is to use antibiotics sparingly. The more antibiotics that you receive in your lifetime, the more likely you will be colonized with antibiotic-resistant organisms. And if you then develop an infection, the more likely it is that that infection will not respond to the usual antibiotics that we use. In addition, avoid sharing personal items, such as razors. Wash your hands regularly. And if you notice an infected cut or sore with a lot of swelling or pus, see your doctor right away. 